In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a little two-play mini scheme that you can use to really give you trips some trouble in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you're new to the channel, we're talking today about the nickel normal formation out of the San Francisco 49ers defensive playbook. I actually just released a full ebook on this defense. I think it's the most complete defense in the game. You have great run defense. You can create pressure concepts from this. And you can also have, in my opinion, the best coverages in the game at your disposal. So if you want to check out that full defensive ebook, I would really encourage you to check out my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, you're going to get not only access to this ebook, but you're going to get access to all 13 of my ebooks that I've released so far this year, as along with uh, all the exclusive tips and all that stuff. So if you want to check that out, that is in the description. Today we're talking about defending the U-Trips formation, and I'm going to show you uh, an audible real quick that we're going to set that's going to help us significantly. So if you take a look here, I've set the audibles cover three buzz match, cover three buzz match weak, and cover six and cover four palms. Now, whenever I see somebody come out in this formation, I'm actually going to come out in the cover four quarters defense um, because I think it gives me the best chance to defend this formation. So we're going to come out and cover four quarters right here. And I'm just going to back the ball up, kind of get ourselves into a good position uh, so that you, most of the time, if someone is running U-trips, they're going to run it with their, their three wide receivers uh, to the right or to the, to the wide side of the field. So whenever they're in three by one, we're going to come out in our quarters. And the setup is fairly simple. We're going to basically crash our line uh, or pinch our defense, crash our line out. We're going to use this guy right here or uh, bring him down, however. And then we're going to put Jones in a QB spy. We're going to put Harris in a bluff blitz. And then what I like to do is either use this safety right here, or what you can do with this is you can uh, use the middle linebacker. Now, I think it's a little safer to use the middle linebacker, but I think it's a little better if you man this guy up onto the defensive end here and then you use her this safety. So you see how this is gonna work. So any kind of uh, three by one combination that they're gonna be able to run, we're gonna have a pretty decent chance at shutting that down. I'm gonna show you one of the more popular uh, three by one combinations that you're gonna see. It's gonna basically be something to this extent right here, a little scat play. And what you're gonna see is, oh, it's a flood. Okay, I can poach here. And as you see, the defense plays really, really well against the running back wheel, little scat hitch all of that stuff, okay? Where it gets interesting is whenever they start to motion across. So, um, for example, this tight end deep out play is a great, or a WAPS wheel is a great example of a concept you're gonna see a lot. Uh, what a lot of people like to do in this is they'll motion this guy across, and then what they're gonna do um, is they're going to basically try to either hit the running back wheel right in here, or if that's not open, then they'll wait and they'll hit their post or the flat, okay? That's kind of the general pieces uh, of this of this offense. So when they motion over, what I like to do defensively, you can feel free to stay in this match defense if you want to. The major issue becomes, let's say for example, that they run um, like curl flat, for example, and they motion this post over. And let's say you're usering this guy. It's just a little bit more for your user to have to handle in my opinion. So let's say they motion this guy over. What you need to be aware of is if they snap him here, you've got to open up here and then you've got to take the corner. If you don't, it's going to be wide open. Okay. That's the biggest piece that you kind of need to be aware of from a user perspective. When they motion over, you are the number two defender. So if the number two receiver on that side goes vertical, you have to guard that. Where it becomes even trickier when they start uh, doing over, doing these motion over concepts is let's say for example we're playing curl flat again but let's say now what they do is they let him get just outside of the player well what you're going to see now is now we're going to be in a little bit of trouble because it's hard for your user to get back on that vertical and they've got that kind of taken care of okay so that's the biggest challenge with running quarters or palms against the set um, an easy solution would be to just man up um, Darby onto Brown, and then basically you could just use her that slot. But the other solution that I wanted to talk about in this video is basically an audible that you can do whenever you see motion. So whenever I see motion, I'm going to audible to 
um, the cover three buzz, okay? So because the strong side of the formation has basically now flipped, and basically what we have here is a doubles set or a spread set to the left, right? So if I check into cover three buzz match week, you're going to see here that now um, I'm in a pretty good position to defend, right? So all I really have to do on this, and you could use her, you could still use her this safety if you wanted to, or you could use her the middle linebacker. Okay, you could do the same exact, literally the same exact things with these linebackers if you wanted to. Um, but basically, what you're going to look for here is you're going to look to open to the trips, and then you're going to look to see what you need to use her. So take a look at how good of a job that seam flat does at that post. To me, that's huge. So. Um, you're going to get great matching on crossing routes, which a lot of people like to run out of this formation. So you're going to get a lot of this. So I'm going to do it really fast and kind of walk you through an, an exact adjustment here. So I'm, I've got my defense set, right? I've got my defense set right here. And then all of a sudden <coughs> they do this motion. So I don't panic. I audible to cover three buzz match week. They snap the ball. And now I'm working over to this side right here. Now the wheel is actually going to be my responsibility if I choose to stay on the corner or the safety. But another thing that you can do if you don't want to worry about the wheel, for example, uh, what you can do here is I can actually audible to cover three buzz match week. And then I can click on the middle linebacker real quick. And then now all I have to worry about is receiving this crossing route and you see how good of a defense that does against a lot of the concepts uh, from U-Trip. So to me, the cover three buzz match week could be a really good audible uh, for you to use in those situations. Now, if you wanna learn more about how these coverages work, if you wanna learn more about just Madden in general, I've got 13 eBooks available over at the Patreon, including the full Nickel Normal eBook. You can get all of it for just 10 bucks a month. And the cool part about the Patreon is you can cancel whenever you want, but as soon as you sign up, you're getting access to everything. Uh, you unlock everything and uh, just a great, great opportunity for you to get better. So if you want to learn, like I said, we've got um, a ton of eBooks. We've got uh, pro player breakdowns. We've got film studies. We've got exclusive tips and tricks uh, that you won't see me publish here on the public YouTube page. Um, so if you want to get all that content, uh, be sure to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can join the Patreon for uh, just 10, bu 10 bucks a month and you can cancel whenever you'd like. So if you're still interested in joining the Patreon, head on down to the description and click that link.